welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little decorate with me slash Thanksgiving decor house tour. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week and sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. Also, YouTube is not very kind to us little YouTubers, so clicking that subscribe button would mean the world to me. Alrighty, now that that's been said, let's get started. So I started off by putting away all of my Halloween decorations. This part always makes me a little bit sad, but I get through it by watching some of my favorite spooky films. This one is, of course, The Corpse Bride. So yeah, I just started to do that. And then I brought out my Thanksgiving specific decorations, which is basically all just this beautiful burnt orange and golds and brown and all of that. You'll see soon all of the colors that I incorporated. I decided to start off with the table. I put down my table cover and then I put the plastic table cover on top just in case we decided to eat there. Um, and I, I just didn't want to deal with a dirty table cover. So I uh, did that and then I put my placemats down and these charger plates and this little table runner and i think i hauled all of them if not most of them last year so be sure to check those videos out i will make a playlist or something so that you guys can find it easier but that is my basic first step in setting up the table and then i had these little tools from the dollar store dollar tree and I decided to tie those on the back of my chairs. I did a similar thing in my Halloween Decorate With Me video. Uh, I just decided to keep up the green on either end because I only had four of those orange tool things. So yeah, I kind of had to. <laughs> Moving on, I decided to create some bouquets. I only had like four of these flower picks, but then I had a bunch of these glitter fern picks and pumpkin picks and all that. So I just divided each one equally so that each bouquet would be at least somewhat equal. And I'm just noticing that I have lost a lot of my footage. I have no idea where the bouquets footage went, but you will see it at the end of this video. Anyways, I moved on to this apothecary jar and I filled it with some potpourri. It's actually like an autumn potpourri. And you will have to forgive me because sometimes I will jump all over the place when decorating. So here I just went to my little fireplace and I just laid out the things that I knew were going on the fireplace. And um, here I have my little fall sign which I'm trying to show you. And like I said, a lot of my footage was lost but I did make a lot of progress. And while I was cleaning up, I found this little cinnamon incense stick Thing. So I figured I would use that for my centerpiece in the living room. And here I was debating on the tiered tray. I wanted to put this tiered tray here, but it was too tall and it wouldn't let me open my cabinet, which I need to do. So I had to switch them, which kind of sucked because I wanted the gold tiered tray to be in the center of the beautiful table, but that's okay. I was able to switch them and make it work. So when it came to decorating the tiered trays, I just put them next to each other. And since I didn't have enough stuff for even one tiered tray, let alone two, I kind of divided each thing amongst both of those tiered trays just so I could kind of figure out what will go on each tray. And I reused a lot of Halloween stuff, like these candles are actually Halloween, but I decided to wrap around this fall ribbon and change these into fall candles. I did this with the spray as well. These said like witch's brew and hocus pocus and stuff like that. So um, this is just like a little trick that I use when I don't want to spend any more money. Anyways, moving on to the tear tray. This tear tray is very silver and the rest of my decor was very gold. So I decided to use that tool that you just saw. Um, it's a very gold tool and I just kind of put that as the base 
to bring in more gold and just layered all of my tiered tray stuff right on top. And like I said, I will show you the final tiered tray at the end because I just kept moving things around all throughout decorating. So there is no final tier tray until the end. <laughs> but anyways, here I'm just switching out my hand soap. I switched it from, I think it was like spooky pumpkin or something to pumpkin cupcake, which I have to say smells delightful. Here I'm just trying to show you the colors that I wanted for fall. And I basically just used pretty much all of the pillow covers from um, Halloween. Uh, except for the black and the purple and as you can see there was a green pillow there so I wanted to incorporate more green in my decor everywhere else especially since I had those two chairs that had the green tool wrapped around them so I got these felt pumpkins from Hobby Lobby recently and they were 50% off I think they were originally $7.99 and I just scattered them all throughout the house just to bring in that little pop of green everywhere else so I placed them on the tier tray and I went around and placed them on the other tier tray next to the coffee station and then I also placed them on this little backside table behind my dining table just to bring in just a little pop of green. I only had two left so that's why there's only two there but it just made the tier trays and everything look a little bit more full and I love how that pop of green kind of brightened up the color palette a little bit and I just love it. And you can kind of see everything slowly come together. I have random leaves placed here and there just to fill in some empty gaps and I decided to switch out my towels which is always exciting for me, I don't know why. I guess, I don't know, now I'm older, I look forward to kitchen towels matching the, the season, which is so weird, but these are my Thanksgiving towels. I even got to add some fall flair to my master bedroom. It's just a little bit, but I basically just took this little basket that my family made me, and even the little card bouquet thing that you saw in the middle, was uh, from them as well and I just placed them inside each other. So I guess I'll start from the right side. I have my pumpkin candle holder and pumpkin cupcake candle all from Bath and Body Works and then I have my deodorant and my marshmallow pumpkin latte lotion and body spray also both from Bath and Body Works and then here is the basket or a bucket or whatever. <laughs> and then you have my husband's colognes, which are also from Bath and Body Works, and they just happen to match color-wise perfectly to the basket, so I left those out as well. And here I just wanted to show you how many AAA batteries I went through just between October and November. Like for Halloween and Thanksgiving, just on these glow candles. I don't know why they eat up batteries so much, especially since I only turned them on to show you guys and for the actual holiday itself, I don't really turn them on every single day. So I don't know, I need to find another alternative because wow, those just ate up all of my batteries. I was actually tempted to just decorate straight for Christmas, but I don't know, I, I just love Thanksgiving so much, especially the food. I mean, I love Thanksgiving food. There is no other holiday with as good a food as Thanksgiving. And um, I just kept seeing all these YouTubers with their Christmas decor videos already out and I kind of felt like I was missing out, but you know what? I absolutely love Thanksgiving and the colors of Thanksgiving and fall leaves and everything. So I'm really glad that I took the time to actually decorate for Thanksgiving. Anyways, those are my pillows that I showed earlier and I basically based off like all the coloring of my house for fall off of those pillows. And that is the site that you see when you sit down on my couch. And we have the little center pieces of my coffee table. So like I said, I have my pumpkin spice latte candle burning on top of my new pumpkin candle holder which is just so incredibly adorable I love this thing I thought it was so adorable when I bought it and I, I just knew I had to have it then we have that little reed diffuser thing that I showed you earlier it's like cinnamon buttercream then in that little dome thing I have another glow candle Ugh. and some pumpkins surrounding it and just I don't know it just looks so nice and cozy 
let's ignore my slippers on the floor. I just, uh, I didn't have time to move them. <laughs> Anyways, when you swoop down, you see my little maple leaf plug-in from Bath & Body Works. And all along those windows, I had little tea lights, fake tea light candles. And then here, I just kept it the same as Halloween, my little pumpkin trio with some glow candles. And then we have the fireplace, which has this big, beautiful garland from Hobby Lobby. And here is the other side. Thought I'd just go ahead and show you. Um, this is the uh, Mickey pumpkin patch. Uh, same as Halloween, if you've noticed. But he's just there guarding the little pumpkins. And I have two more glow candles there. Okay, so going back to the fireplace, uh, let me just give you a little close-up of the garland right there. You can see my <laughs> Mickey Mouse pajamas, but um, yes, that is the garland. And as I stated before, I did scatter some leaves around to fill any bald spots <laughs> for my decorating that I think is from Hobby Lobby. It came in like a pack. And I just have a bunch of pumpkins, gold, orange and that white color one of them says blessed and the other one says grateful i think and as you can see i was down to one glow candle because of course right before filming the final thing all of my glow candles decided to just die on me so i started off with three on either side but then i was left with just one on either side and then right before filming they both like stopped working this one completely stopped working and the other one started doing this blinking thing which I don't even know why so I just gave up on that but anyways the screensaver on my TV I just made that into like a fall themed screensaver just to add to the ambiance and then we have that window with some tea lights um, fake tea lights of course and we have the dining table and those are the bows that I created with the tool four of them are orange and two of them are green the ones at the head of each side like of the table were the green ones as you saw earlier and those are the ones with the orange leaves those are actually like little clips and again this year I was unable to find any napkins like cloth napkins so I just kept them there as placeholders I guess and this is the tiered tray didn't really have any rhyme or reason I just tried to find anything I could to fill in the tiered trays because I just didn't want to go crazy with buying more fall decor because this year I did go pretty crazy with the Halloween decor and I just bought a whole bunch of Christmas decor. So I tried to make do with what I have. That little swan thing was actually a gift from my in-laws. It's like a little dessert spoon set. It's so pretty. And then I have that little mug that I used in Halloween time. And a lot of it I tried, to, I tried to reuse as I showed you before. And even that big spot with all the recess cups, it was literally because I didn't have enough decor and I just had to make do. But recess cups are one of my favorite fall time, especially Halloween time, chocolates. So uh, it worked out. Speaking of favorites, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Mine would probably have to be, ooh, that's, that's a hard one. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, cornbread? This is really hard, I don't know. Comment down below what your favorite is. Like I said, many of these things were previously hauled on my channel. If you guys have a question as to where a particular item is from, please just let me know in the comments and I will definitely let you guys know. Okay, now we're moving on to the table right behind the dining table. And I have my little bouquets that I showed earlier well I didn't get to show earlier actually but I just put one on either side in these little orange vases and I have that garland going across just it's the same exact garland that I had on the fireplace and then I have these Cinderella pumpkins I call them my Cinderella pumpkins <laughs> on either side those are from Hobby Lobby and I have that really glittery orange pumpkin right next to it then my apothecary jars I filled one of them with glittery pumpkins and then the middle one I filled with candies. It has like more Reese's Cups and those Werther's caramels. I love those. Those are so good. And then the potpourri one that you saw me fill in earlier. And I just mirrored everything from one side to the other. So on one side I kept a bouquet of 
flowers and picks, so I did the same on the other side. Same thing with the Cinderella pumpkin, the glitter pumpkin. I just wanted everything to look balanced and matched. And of course I have my fairy lights strung throughout, and I just made them a very beautiful orange color to complement the Thanksgiving decor. If I were to choose between the glow candles and the fairy lights, hands down, I would recommend the fairy lights. I actually got the fairy lights from Amazon. And then for the stairway, I just did the same thing I did for Halloween, but I just took out the black garland that I had intertwined with these orange garlands. These are also from Hobby Lobby, but I got them a few years earlier, so they're just a little bit different from the new ones I got this year. Um, they are actually a, a brighter orange, whereas the new ones are actually a darker brown and orange. So I just have two garlands on either side. And then on this door, I have my fall wreath. This was previously my spooky donut that you saw in my Halloween decorate with me. But I just took out all of the tool and that is what it looks like underneath. And on the island, I didn't really do much except for this little candle. It was mahogany teakwood, I believe, and it's in this gold, beautiful candle holder. Moving on, we have my coffee station. I have my little Keurig, and this is the only other fall colored mug that I have from Starbucks, so I kept that out. And my little pumpkin spice rooibos tea container from Trader Joe's. Then I have another maple leaf plug-in from Bath & Body Works. This little Hello Fall sign is actually covering up my sugar container, but that uh, sign is actually from Dollar Tree. And then I have my other tear tray, which I just decorated with a bunch of leaves. I kind of just fanned them out and put some glittery acorns and pine cones and some more of those felt pumpkins. And I have my roasted pumpkin candle right in the middle and it just brings a little bit of fall to the coffee station. And as I showed you before, I have my pumpkin cupcake hand soap with my um, pumpkin spice dish soap and that right there was my pumpkin spice hand scrub which I actually did a video on. I will link that down below. And real quick I wanted to show you the glow cube that I hid behind my candle on the tear tray. It just creates a little bit of an orange glow behind there especially when the lights are off. I actually like the effect of it. So just thought I'd mention that. I will of course have some more footage of the house with some dimmed lights so that you can see the lighting a little bit better. And I'll just do a quick little walkthrough with some beautiful copyright free music for your enjoyment. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Thanksgiving!